So the first periodic trend we're going to talk about is atomic radius. And atomic radius is defined as half the distance between neighboring atoms. And because there's two different types of bonds, we need to be very specific. And we can have a covalent radius, which means half the distance between two atoms that are joined by a covalent bond. Or we, we can have an ionic radius, which is half the distance between ions joined in an ionic bond and being in a crystalline solid. So there's a distinct difference between the two and you need to define which one we're talking about. So as we previously mentioned, most of these periodic trends have to deal with Z effective. So as Z effective increases, the atomic radius actually decreases. So this makes sense if the interaction between the protons and the electrons becomes stronger, the pull is going to bring them closer together. So as Z effective increases, the atomic radius decreases. So we've already defined what the periodic trend is for Z effective, so we could just use that, but we're going to go ahead and discuss atomic radius and the periodic trends in detail. So atomic radius decreases as we go across the periodic table. And just like what we were discussing with Z effective, as we go across the periodic table from left to right, the nuclear charge increases and the electrons are going into the same N value so th they do not shield each other, so Z effective actually increases. So as Z effective increases, the atomic radius decreases. So the atomic radius increases as we go down the periodic table, and we can talk about that in terms of Z effective, but what's easier is to realize that as we go down the periodic table, we are going to larger n values. And an n value is related to the distance of electrons away from the nucleus. So as we go down the periodic table, the n value is going to increase. And so correspondingly, our atomic radius is also going to increase. So the overall periodic trend for atomic radius says that as we go to the left and down in the periodic table, the atomic radius tends to increase. So you'll get questions like this. You have four elements, beryllium, boron, magnesium, and carbon, and say order them in decreasing radius. So really what you want to do is say which one of these four is furthest to the left and down. So magnesium's here, beryllium, boron and carbon. So the one that is furthest to the left and down is magnesium, so we would expect that to be the largest. And then going to smaller radii it would be beryllium, then boron, then carbon. And this is backed up by experimental evidence. If you actually go and look at the atomic radius of these atoms, you can see that magnesium has an atomic radius of 160 picometers, where carbon has an atomic radius of 77 picometers. So these periodic trends are an estimate, but they are generally true and they're backed up by experimental data. So what happens when we start adding and removing electrons from an atom? What happens to the atomic radii then? So a general rule is that the radii of cations are smaller than the radii of the corresponding neutral atom. And you can say, why is this? And once again, it comes down to Z effective. When we're making a cation, the nuclear charge stays the same. So the number of protons stays the same, but we are removing electrons. So now that there are less electrons, there's a stronger pull between the nucleus and the electrons. So when we make a cation, Z effective actually increases. And as Z effective increases, the atomic radius decreases. So here's another question here. You say order in decreasing atomic radius. I give you Fe, Fe2+, plus, Fe3+. Plus. The largest is going to be Fe, then Fe2+, plus, and then Fe3+. Plus. So you see as we're going across here, the number of protons and iron remains the same. We're removing electrons. So when we get to Fe3+, plus, there is fewer electrons. And so there is a stronger interaction between the remaining electrons and the, in the iron nucleus. 
So that causes the electrons and the nucleus to be pulled tighter together, making the atomic radius less. And here again, this is backed up by experimental data. And if we look at the atomic radii of these three species, we can see Fe3 plus is by far the smallest of the three. So just in general, cations are smaller than the neutral atoms. So when we look at anions, the opposite is true. The, the radii of anions are larger than the radii of the corresponding neutral atoms for the exact opposite reason. We still are retaining the same nuclear charge, but now we're adding more electrons. So now that there's more electrons, there is a weaker interaction between the nucleus and these electrons. So Z effective actually decreases, so the atomic radii increases. So here's an example between sulfur and sulfur two minus. The sulfur two minus is going to become larger. And the way I like to remember it is when you make a cation, you're removing something, so it's going to become smaller. And then when you're, when you're dealing with an anion, you're adding electrons, so you're making something bigger. So the last one here deals with a specific case, and it's called isoelectronic atoms. So we give you Na+, Ne, and F-, and we say which one has the largest atomic radius. But if we look at the electron configuration of these three species, they all have eight electrons. And then we're going to use this fact to come up with our answer. So that's why it's called isoelectronic. So we're dealing with species that have the same number of electrons. And when this happens, the atom with the least number of protons is going to have the smallest Z effective and then have the, the largest atomic radius. So whichever one has the smaller number of protons is going to have the weakest interaction with the outer electrons and then that's going to cause the atomic radius to become larger. So between these three, sodium plus has 11 protons, neon has 10, fluorine has 9, so the one with the least number of protons is going to be fluorine. And we would expect that to have the largest radius, and then we would expect neon to be next and Na plus to be the smallest.